<sighs> the f Where is this? Oh my god, they don't own this bucket. Wait, is it really gonna let me? Oh my God, this is amazing. Wait a minute, I have another idea. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. How many other times has this happened? Mother of God. Yeah, so I just archive everything. So I have like every email that I has ever been sent or received, but I'm team inbox zero, so. That is beautiful. Um, can you do me a favor? Search for that in your archive. Okay, and there should be one from 2020. Do you just have a, yeah. Nice. So every user of YouTube has this email in their inbox. Um, I think when people think of email, they think of it as like static, flat, unchanging. Um, but that's, but uh, you know, that's, that's not the way email works. It's dynamic. It can load pictures in after the fact. If you look at an email today, it can actually look different than if you look at the same email tomorrow because the fonts and the images are loaded in dynamically. I went through the entire universe of all the emails I've ever received, found every image <laughs> that either pointed to a non-existing bucket or to a um, you know, domain that could otherwise be takeoverable. And I was delighted to see that there were a whole bunch of examples that popped up. This one was probably the funniest because it went to the widest audience, like to all YouTube yeah. videos. I found one with Scoot, the uh, like the scooter company. Like mm -hmm. literally, the entire company doesn't exist anymore. So they RMRF their entire Amazon account. Every bucket they ever served a piece of static content out of is registrable. And so I was able to like take over all of Scoot's old emails. This thing pointed to a JPEG, but like Chrome's behavior when you serve a GIF out of a JPEG is to load the GIF. Yeah, um, I guess that's that's basically all I've got. It's just a dumb way to put an image on the top of an old email. Yeah, it was funny. I was I was entertained. Uh, yeah, it's very clever.